changing experience. News 10 at 6 starts right now. Breaking news, first alert weather, and live local coverage. This is News 10 at 6. Laws in this state are backwards. They're so backwards. We don't have a voice. It takes, takes this long for somebody to come forward. Going for them to tell them, ah, sorry, nothing we can do. That was Corey Renz, a survivor of convicted youth sports referee Gerald Sutter. He, along with many others, are now adults and unable to pursue justice because of Michigan's statute of limitations. Now, he's made it his mission to push for change. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Gerald Sutter is believed to have assaulted young athletes over the span of five decades. Back in September, he was sentenced to serve 10 to 30 years in prison for criminal sexual conduct with a minor. News 10's Amaya Kuznicki is in the newsroom right now with more on this ongoing battle for survivors and where legislation to change Michigan's statute of limitations is now heading. Amaya? Yeah, David and Ann, emotions were very high in the room today as these survivors had to relive the trauma that they face as kids. Right now, Michigan's statute of limitations for a victim of criminal sexual misconduct is among the narrowest in the country. People need to be heard and people need to be held accountable and they can't be because time is now on the side of the predator. Corey Renz and Sean Sutherland are sexual assault survivors of former youth sports referee Gerald Sutter. Both are unable to pursue justice because the current Michigan statute of limitations expired long before their cases. And then to share my story and have a prosecutor tell me, I appreciate what you've shared, but unfortunately what happened to you happened too long ago. And the ins and outs of our laws didn't allow that. No case. Sorry. Survivors like Renz and Sutherland are now rallying support for Michigan's current statute of limitations on sexual abuse to be expanded. You know, it's my hope that that we won't need a statute of limitations um, this long someday, but we certainly aren't there yet. State Representative Julie Brixey has introduced a package of bills that would extend the civil statute of limitations from age 28 to 52 and allow survivors more time to bring their offenders to justice. The bills have been passed out of committee, but the state legislature adjourned for the year before they could be taken up. I am very optimistic that we will get over the finish line when they return. To not be in support of this and the change in the statute of limitations is impossible for me to understand. Now, this was the first time that Sutherland and Renz openly spoke about their experiences of sexual abuse, and they are encouraging others to come forward. Live in the newsroom, Amaya Kaznicki, News 10. Now to the weather forecast as we look live from our sky cam over downtown Mason. First alert, meteorologist Andy Provenzano with the Weather Center to tell us if that early December warm-up is still on the way. Hi, Andy. Hi, David. Yeah, it is. We'll notice it first.